Today is the third of May 2024. You know when it's Friday, I become so excited. The the inner joy, the real meaning of joy is I radiating because I know it's the weekend and it's always a time to relax, to unwind, to take off the whole work stress, you know, to just sit around do a little house chores. So I'm excited when it's Friday. <laughs> It's been a wonderful week on family and values for all our guests that have been with us, our viewers from Monday up till today, the 3rd of May. We are saying thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of family and values to all our crew members, to everyone. We are saying thank you, officially saying thank you as we wrap up this week on family and values. It's been a very wonderful one, educative, insightful, very informative. You know now, we bring you all the information you need to know. My name still remains Joy Abu. You know when we start to say that anytime you turn on your television or you turn on your social media and you see these beautiful faces, it's time for family and values. Yes, we are streaming across all our social media platforms, please. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, download the Galaxy Mobile app, follow us on our social media platform on X and on Facebook, turn on your notification button so that you know when these beautiful faces are on your screen. We're not going to take so much of your time because we have a lot to talk about today being Friday so we can unwind but I have my beautiful partner in the studio with me. You know she doesn't need the introduction but... For the sake of the new people that will be joining, I want to know this wonderful partner of mine. Let's welcome Olori into the building. Good morning. Beautiful morning to you, Joy. How are Happy you? Happy Friday. <laughs> this one you're Thank just God there. it's Friday. Mm. Thank God it's Friday. Yeah. Thank God it's Friday. Mm. Friday, that um, the first one, the month of May. That's true. And I believe it's not just going to be every other Friday that you've always um, been part of. It's going to be a special one special for new things for discovery for for greater you know expectation and beautiful things that will surround us and even as we come up this morning to say thank god for life thank god for strength thank god that you are there and we are here right here my name is remain olori adejoki adobe david i hope you've been able to appreciate one thing about what god has done for you today yes you may not have all that money in your pocket like someone like me i don't have the, all the money i want maybe joy has but i still yeah. have to believe that um, <laughs> god is faithful to make yes, your your day purposeful purposeful for good things purposeful for better you know you and a greater opportunity yes a greater opportunity so how you plan okay you said you're going to come to you know Holy Ghost service. yeah today is the legal service so join us let's be at the redemption scene yes yeah, so it's the going redemption to be another come. opportunity let's do it like that thank you jesus for the opportunity yes so the fire is burning well Seriously. for me I've, I've not had light in my area for four days now so hey, what yeah. has been Man, very serious i can imagine like, oh god i can imagine so i had to go two streets away to and get what I didn't know while I carried what on. <laughs> but what can I say? It's part of those things, you know. But they said the light was actually for to that door at five today. So. I pray they do that on time and to many other places in mm. Lagos. Um, and yeah, Lagos, let me say Lagos because yeah. we are part of Lagos. That there is no light right now, there is no electricity. Please help us. And uh, this cannot continue. I there is we have to struggle to get well, queue right. for you know more than 31 mm. hour you see husband and wife sitting to buy well that's true can and you see people carrying jerrican as well to try as much as possible well to take some and you know put in their, before, before uh, in their generator the because of electricity please save us help us please we know you are trying but do more and um, please let us have it in abundance so that at, at, at this can, point you know, like flow. i said we don't the week that um, people are getting to feel the normalization of um, mm. the lack of yeah. um, pms but one thing that struck me is that most of the transport comp uh, most of the transporters are still carrying the same rates yeah they're they carrying the same carrying. Rate. it was i think at the yeah, but, yeah, you still have you, the but you got to some filling station you get for 800 for 900 yes in my right. area is about 800 some you even area. need to do some tipping before you get to where like the you video get. we saw oh, no, no, somebody demanded for me pie you know <laughs> 
please and please treat your attendants well uh, so that they will not need to start think, stealing I your money this or even asking for things you know like there is this. always this man that goes on show me that and say this period of an attendant you know we salute you because mm, you are yeah, like the you, you know the yeah, so when that you get there and they, you know, they look at you like we are not selling to that's you that's true this that's part. true yeah so let's do it right we are all involved no one is left we all are involved in this and the more we make it easier for ourselves mm. the better it will be and everybody will you know my, my question is the black smiling. marketers how do they get there how do they get there they go there they, they go they to sell, the sell in my area black market goes for one five one five so if you've stayed at the Palita. queue yes and you're tired you just go to them you have no option that you just go to and i um, asked one of them like, that how, at your own risk how, how do they get how do they get access to this to as only sell at that price excuse like, me how do they get access it's just another business as okay. usual for them because that's the same thing right now mm -hmm. you need foil and you don't want to um make uh, this long queue queue out there when you not get to almost to the gate and mm. they tell you there's no more there's PMS. <laughs> that one is another so many will want to like jump at their offer mm. because i have the money i have the what money people right? who don't have that money so anyway that's just to be appealing to the <coughs> government to do something to it to please please try as much as possible to. to cushion the effects on the on for scarcity and let's see how next week is going to be better and brighter on the not today's topic is very exciting very interesting and we're trying to be calm in the studio so that you know we don't break any table we keep everybody at place let's go on our mini future when we return hmm. We have the lost of value for virginity. What a topic to discuss in this era and in this time. We have our guest joining us via Zoom. She's someone we all know. Is someone who is very popular on our screens. But hey, and family and values, we bring you the very best. Today we have Yinka Davis joining us via Zoom. She is an actress, a songwriter, and a vocalist. I grew up listening to this wonderful lady grace has been and it's a pleasure to have you on our show this morning welcome to family and valleys good morning good morning good morning it's so good to have you good morning good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Always yeah, looking, looking ever like young. Visual. I don't understand what's the secret <laughs> always looking ever young I don't have let the love from you that's the best way I can answer that question. I can answer that question. Then you have to go. <laughs> okay, well, let, 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 I want to ask this question. Um, has the society indeed lost the value for virginity? Do you think the current society has lost its value for virginity? I, I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say so because I, I believe me, you would not believe me. I don't know if you're going to believe me. I still know quite a bit of virgins as we see. Elderly virgins, by the way. So I know <laughs> it's great. Some people still have the value. Some people, it's not so. Yes, it is like we have very typical and dangerous to see. And dangerous machine. They are in the <laughs> and danger. very few, mm. but they are there, and there are many. Really, they are there. Even men who are virgin, trust me, mm. all, I'm not lying. Believe me sincerely. There are men who are virgin, even narcissistic. It's just that the female one is the one that people will gravitate towards. You know. Always look for. So yeah. I won't say we have uh, um, the 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 city life has taken out a chunk a chunk of the value the city life the, the i don't want to use the word i don't care lifestyle we won't deny because even some young children now are so bent on keeping themselves chaste and pure uh, you must give it to some nigerians though they are really 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 wanting to stay straight straight now the sad thing is when they are influenced by their friends or some friend get to betray that friendship by you know inserting stuff into their body and that is when it becomes uh, 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 you can see some bitterness 
in some people and that is where this is stemming from the losing of the value in the society uh, the, the as part of the virginity sector yeah. okay it's so good to have you right morning it's been a while now the question i want to ask you is um what do we now blame to those who have uh, found themselves in a situation whereby they lost the value for, to their virginity so young who do we blame some were taken advantage of we know that some of the society the background where they're coming from but do we blame it on the parents or on the teenagers carelessness I think the first thing to actually do is to not uh, point fingers because we are good at pointing fingers. Yeah. We want to look for who to blame at all times. It is. It ha it has nothing to do with what's on ground. What is it about the virgin? I want to ask you that question now. What? about virginity that you are concerned about that you, you cannot find a good wife or there is something you have seen that has really stirred up this uh, I'm trying to be very careful with my words now where is this uh, because you can see the whole society you can see that even women don't care anymore the young ones you can, they will look, look at you in the face and tell you what is it I mean, just what are you? What are you, what, what? What's your business? You know, and that's the generation we're in, but, and we must take responsibility for it because we allow this. Mm. So, I, I I don't want to point any finger at anybody, to any thug, any family, any villager. No, no, no. We caused it. We watched it go down, and we allowed it, and our children fell for it. So it's our fault. Hmm. I love the fact that he said I love the fact that he said it's our fault. That's collectively as a society. But do you think that this particular generation have taken it overboard? They just want to explore life. Because growing up, we had this instilled idea of keep your virginity until you get married. And then a lot of us grew in that spirit. Aside the religious aspect, the fear of your parents getting to know that you're no longer a virgin was one of our greatest fears. But you see this present society, like you said, the, the teenagers don't care. They want to explore. Do you think it's a way of life or the fact that they just want to explore life? Like they don't give, they don't want to know what you're thinking about it. They just want to explore their life. Is it is it a new face we are beginning to see? Hmm. It's a hair. I, 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 I would like for us to reach out to people in love. I do not know how else to go about a conversation of this magnitude that will stir up desecration and anger and pointing fingers and total total you know vengeance and no 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 right now all we need now in our country is open arms of people that are not judgmental i'm just trying to tell you the best way to go about this matter then dead dead deadly yeah. so we don't yeah, look for forehead okay. that is not our own yeah, yeah. I'm not, it is not a joke. <laughs> it is, uh, it's going to be held out. It, it's, it's, uh, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think you understand the, the gravity, the anonymity of what our mothers allowed before we became our own generation. Do you know how many generations that Nigeria is only 60 something years old? She's, uh, she's yeah. going to be 64 uh, come October 1st. 
in 64 yeah. years i will i will send you a video of about 1990 and the 1990 is about 30 years or something yeah. what have we allowed what did we allow how did we come to this place how did we degenerate to such so there's nothing we can do but spread our arms in love to anybody that needs it if the person is mean and angry let the person go but you are not going to be judgmental and say, hey, you know that uh, somebody starts. No, 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 no. First of all, look at yourself <coughs> and do the first man play before you go and point another, another person's child. You see your child? I mean, lots of mothers are really, really, really messing up the schools. They go to they do a lot of things for the, to, 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 to the teachers in the school. Even the private schools, they cannot tell you the kind of nonsense they are facing. And we want to now talk about uh, somebody losing virginity. I beg, I beg, I beg. What is the English word? What, the, what are we talking about here? When the mothers and fathers are hiding and holding their children. I don't want any teacher to, to, to deal with the child. Yes, some teachers are really bad. Yes. But wait, how did we get to this point that our teacher starts to sleep with our, daughter, our daughters? In school, mm. how did we get to that point? <coughs> or let the get to sleep with you before you get a uh, mark. I want the child to be what? I beg, what are we talking about? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the lost of value for virginity. We are discussing the lost of value for virginity. But let's go on a mini few, um, on a word of marble. And we had um, people um, talk about this um, topic. Let's listen to our voice. Bob will be right back. value on virginity because to me virginity is actually very very good if i'm a guy i would love to marry a virgin and if you look at our generation these days most guys like most guys we all know that some of you have raped forced a girl to get this virgin and one thing i know like personal is that this virginity of a thing most people want to keep it but because of probably it is not ignorance you just want to get down with your teenage boyfriend or probably your sexual hormones were too high because you were kissing because of us now kiss we go they kiss that kind of thing will be pressing our and grinding our body but out of probably like you know that one is first try second try third try fourth try the guy will just just get angry i want to do it the girl see me personally i won't lie i won't lie i got raped I got ripped out of my virginity. I was not supposed to be virgin at the time I got this virgin. I was a teenager. I was even too young to get this virgin. And I was not even sexually whatever. I'm a tomboy then, because I know really, but because of probably I was mingling with boys and it's not as if I actually had any sexual feeling for anybody. Not my, I definitely have a crush, but personally, I didn't want to get this virgin, but it just came and it came. It came and it even brought pregnancy. It was a very bad thing. So normally your parents almost want to kill you, break bottles on your head and stuff. But me personally, yo, if it's left for me, before I before I enter school and I see that value of virginity day that time, you know that kind of thing now, I wouldn't even get, I wouldn't want to get this virgin. I know a lot of people that my own could marry the virgin. It is obvious, we all know. Now three cow we keep for the wedding, you know. I don't know go value virginity now. You have to value virginity. If you are a lady, a teenager that you've not got this virgin, you have to keep it. You have to keep it. Keep it. Keep it. That is the only thing I can say. Just keep it. Because, my dear, if a guy meets you in, like, don't forget that, that, about that. Men don't want, don't know what they want. But if they see what they want, like, ah, this guy is a virgin, they will be scared to even touch you. A grown man, I think a grown man is scared of a virgin because he does not want any problem. They believe that when you disvirgin a girl, you get bonded. These are our own generation. We don't, all of us, we don't say, I go back. And we are already, like, heartless in a way. I won't lie. We are all heartless because I can still remember those times that these young girls, most of them use their virginity for money. Some guys, they won't tell the girl that I will do everything for you, just give me your virginity. And because of those stupid, silly persuasion, thinking that that guy likes us, okay, where is that guy today now? Um, I think um, 
virginity is, a, is one of the things that the Bible even talks about. That um, if you could keep yourself, it's one of the commandments in the Bible. So I expect, um, I expect a woman, for example, a woman I want to get married to, should be virgin because there's a blessing in it that a man who opened that place is going to be blessed with, which I believe you all know. So there is a lot of values for those who are not keeping, keeping values towards this. Maybe they don't understand what it really means. That is what I can say. Does people even understand what virgin is all about? Virgin of virginity is for some ladies or mature women who have not given birth to my own concept, to my own understanding, someone that has not given birth, you can call her a virgin. But someone that has given birth is now someone that is able no virginity. So when you are talking about sex, basically some people will be saying that until you are a virgin before you can marry until you are are you getting me so nowadays people are now looking at it okay what does it even profit are you now saying we don't have a bad guy even say being a virgin being a someone that has not having any man or someone that's not character is quite different virginity does not stop whether you are taking care of the man or taking care of the boyfriend or your behavior or your attitude are you getting me but imagine someone that is now been let's say uh, he, 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 she, she came from the village and she hasn't met a man are you now denying or saying that his behavior or his character is going to be perfect simply because she is a virgin okay to me my view from my own perspective it's a flex because and um, normally these days people don't like yeah, please value on it. But I think to, to me it's, um, it's valuable because this is because before we used to hear stories of um, how a um, husband they do re uh, respect their husband and uh, wives that they married as a virgin. So they have that value. They just have that thing there that oh, I know my wife that she's not the kind of person that have this other side that did I say was this other type of person that maybe sheep something like that. The value that people place of virgin in our world, it varies, yeah? So, but uh, in our world uh, where we are now, people believe that when you see a lady or you're married to a lady as a silly virgin, it means that that lady has, she has kept herself and is a, a, definitely she's a decent lady, you understand? But it's just that in our world that we have today, you see so many things are happening in our world. But, but the conclusion of the whole matter is that, like in my own tribe, I came from Yoruba land, eh, we still believe that if you are married, your mother-in-law, we ask and we ask, he kept on asking that, is the, uh, do you, are you sure that the lady is at home? Meaning, she's asking indirectly that, do you, the, is the lady, you met the lady, that the lady is still a virgin. So people still place value on, on, virg on virginity based on, the, the kind of environment that we have, you understand? And every uh, and, I want, and I want to say at uh, this uh, time that every uh, 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 man that we see around want to run after a lady that keeps herself. That means a lady that is virgin, you understand? Because the general belief is that if you actually met a lady that is still a virgin, it shows that that lady is a, is a good girl. That lady, is a, she has kept herself for her to have met her as a virgin. So that's my take on it. Well, as a parent, I think it's still very important. I'm expecting same from my daughter, which as a parent, I'm still working towards it. But it depends on the upbringing. But I'm still expecting much from my daughter that she should keep her virginity until she got married. If he does not value virginity, he won't beg for it. So virginity is supposed to, it's something that is supposed to be kept till you meet somebody that will stay till you are ready to get this virgin. I'm not a virgin, no. in fact, I have a child. But my dear, if, my, if I mistakenly catch my picking, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hey, Osanobwa. Okay. Virginity is supposed to be valued, though. That's all. Yes, I want to marry one. Yeah, because, like, to me, being a virgin, marrying a virgin is, like, something that... 
someone to like maybe experience or a kind of encounter. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Attitude and characters defined a woman. That is why people are now placing more emphasis on their behavior, how they relate with people. So that either virginity or no virginity, they don't even care to know. So that is my own concept of how I understand about this whole questions. Interesting um, opinion from obvious out there on the value, the loss of value for virginity. We still have our guest um, joining us via Zoom. She's still very much available, Yinka Davies. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Okay, thank you very much. I'm sure you actually listened to people's um, um, <laughs> opinions on the same topic, and I wanted to give you a reaction on it. <laughs> I'm so sorry that so much rain where I'm at, so I'm trying as much as possible. I love the very first job that showed. You could try to make my super star. <laughs> Okay, um, welcome back. Um, I believe um, you you are having a wonderful time staying with us. Why do? Okay. 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 <laughs> okay now i want to ask um from what that man the elderly man okay said he said many don't really pay much attention on the purity which is the virginity that our old fathers and mothers used to put so much emphasis like before he said the only thing they now put so much emphasis on is your character and your attitude your your personality how caring how loving how attentive and all that those are the things that they eat. which one do we now you know hold on to the character or the uh the value that comes with the virginity because i i'm of the opinion and i believe then just like you said all we just need to do is to love one another love and just don't put cross on the fact that the virginity and don't put blame on anyone but do we now say that the character added to the virginity makes it a perfect one? because that is coming from an elderly person saying that it's just the character that really matters and not the virginity what's your view about this We have to be both of them because you see, whether you are virgin or not, if your character is bad, you The character is very
in making it difficult for us to um, hear you. Uh, the audibility is not so clear. Why they were so sorry about that? God will help network <laughs> in this kind of situation. Okay. Um, see, I was even discussing, and my discussion was, what of those who intend to actually keep... You heard that lady. Mm. The first lady said that... Um, she was but she was raped and she she's betting on eh, my own child mm. she dare not she dare not and also do you know in the process of trying to claim or prevent or guide yourself jealously to keep your virginity you have also found people who lay a snare mm. trap for fellow uh, gender, I would, I would, I would. a student <laughs> would decide because she has always, you know, be on the noble path, very cautious in school, intelligent, try to mind her business, and you know, they just find a way to corner her and set a trap for her because she is a virgin, or maybe they have discussed to that level and they got to know and decide to set a trap for her and you know allow boys to rape her we have seen many you know, I, I, I was about um, saying something similar to that and this was very close um, experience but first of all let's apologize to you Inka. Yeah, yeah that's sorry. why I told her it's um, the network we're so network sorry we don't continue with her we are sorry we can't continue with that now you see we've had cases like that and growing up it was really rampant and that is why at the point you don't need to even tell your fellow girls that you're virgin that you're virgin because they go all out and they, they you know like the aspect i wanted to even ask i guess before the network is there was those men that use um the spiritual aspect of virginity because virginity is the purest state of every lady but we have some men who have gone as far as you know they need that purity that first blood for their own selfish um whatever money ritual whatever it is they want to go into we've had cases like that you know mm -hmm. now you see they are setting up fellow girls because one man has paid you so much to bring your son they don't even need to pay them then some, some they don't need to pay them boyfriend. some they just do it because they need to get back at you who are you to say to, you to are you keep your virgin. virginity you know in a minute are you trying to tell uh, us that there was this this part of the mini feature that says some people see virginity as being very boring obviously that's boring about like it. I, I it's the way of life you eat I normally you drink normally to. that doesn't stop you from going out to catch your phone phone <laughs> doesn't really mean that you lay down and someone sleep with you and you lose your virginity you dance you speak with friends you interact you socialize it not depends on how far on how deep you want to go hmm. with your socialization or being trying to be social but, or but being trying know, to be in the group if, if i will come in do you know that from what i found out we are um i would say the way we were brought up virginity was like something my dad would always emphasize on aside the fact that the religious aspect of it was there okay because the bible has instructed it was more like a moral thing but i don't really see the religious bodies this is emphasizing on virginity they do except the fact that individuals or, teen or like we have coaches that have come in and because they've seen that the way the teenagers are going the rate at which if you look at 14 february if you take statistics of young teenagers that are lured in that process of oh because you love me give me your virginity in exchange for peanuts you discover that the rate is high and that is why there is this real advocacy for keeping your virginity and keeping your purity not necessarily like me i won't say not uh, necessarily I'll, for the man that I'll, wants I'll, to marry I'll rather, I'll but i would say for maturity's sake mm. be matured Look at the lady that let me let me come in before you go be, let me go in before you um cut me off of the church the religious mm. aspect now just like yinka said all we need is love 
love, love, love. We can't stop pointing fingers. It's not the church that has brought it upon anyone. Mm -mm. It's not the, um, some will say the society will find ourselves in, the environment, the community. Or oh, maybe your parent did not take cognizance of you and did not love you the way you, so you decide to get that love outside. Outside in a now, negative the, way. The religious body, don't let me put the church now, the religious body will not want to put so much emphasis on that. The reason being that they know you know what is written in the Holy Bible, Holy Quran. How many and people so are in the Holy Oh, wait, 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 wait. So why are you going to that religion when you know you don't have time to study or to understand what is based there? Well, I'm now, just many saying. of them will not want to put category on the fact that the virgins alone is being put under check and, you know, balances. So that others will not feel like, ah, are they the only one in the in the in the church? Are they the only one in the mosque? We are also here now. We, they don't need to write it on, on our forehead. Yeah. They, so <laughs> it, it, it goes a long way. It goes a long way. That's just what I say. Well, your character also has a lot to do yes, about the your virginity. Has to be a lot with your virginity. Yes, it goes a lot. That and does. we just need to continue to have that at the back of our mind that virginity talks about purity just like our um blue pen said it also talks about you as an individual it's a measure you have mm -hmm. to take and a step you have to move on with so to me i believe if you're a virgin and you know well you want to find a way to do all what you have to do keep it look nice you are not going to be boring forget all those side um, stories just be yourself and be of good character it will help you a great deal i wish you the very best of the weekend um my name is Romina luria the jockey out of david have a splendid day ahead of you live and i'll see you next week okay all i have to say is no matter what do not give it to peer pressure because we are seeing a society where the pre teens pre adolescents are the ones losing it faster you know so this is my message to all teenagers, to all preteens out there. Please keep your virginity. It's important. Don't listen to whatever friends will tell you that, oh, you don't need it. Um, yeah, you know, it's old school. It's outdated. It's not outdated. We have, we have, you listen to men say it, the place value on it. So please keep yourself, keep yourself right have a good character so that you don't become a virgin with a bad character you know so but in all we are saying is please do not lose god know where you're going to be careful of friends so that they don't drug you you know we've had stories where they'll drug you just to make sure that you lose it and like the lady that was said she was raped be careful of places you go to and um just live right that's all we are saying and let love live. thank you very much for being a part of family and value this week it's been amazing, educative, interesting one for us here in the studio. And we know you enjoyed every topic we had discussed. And you were educated and informed to our boss. We are saying thank you, Sir Stephen Ojo, for the opportunity to our head of programs, to the head of station, Mr. Tatlin, Mr. Dewale, our producer. We are saying thank you to all the crew members, the cameraman Johnson. K and Co. We are saying thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And my lovely partner, thank you for making this week a very smooth one for me, <laughs> you know. As we round up this week and move into the weekend, I'm saying stay safe. Don't drink and drive. Don't party too hard. Remember, this life is just once. Be responsible for your life. We'll see you next week on another exciting episode. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. My name is Remain Joy Abu. Have a great